Today's video is, is about a, is a work description for an office administrator. In most cases, when you are looking for a work description for your current position, you're not sure what to include or what to state on your CV if you do not have a work description provided to you by your company or organization that you're currently working for. In most cases, we have a problem where a candidate that comes through to us does not necessarily know how to describe the position that they are in or what it is that they are currently doing in their position. In this case, we are providing you with a brief and simple work description that you can use for a position as an office administrator if you are currently in that position or if you are applying for an office administrator post. Okay, we're going to go through it briefly and this is what you will add on your CV under the position that you are currently in or that you are applying for. So for example, if you're working for an organization as an office administrator, you will put the company you're working for, the position being office administrator, the period, the dates that you currently are working in, or if, you, if it's a previous position, the dates that you worked and for how long. And under that, you would put this description will be the job purpose and the work description okay the job description or the responsibilities or key performance areas within that position okay in this case as I said it's an office administrator post and firstly if you have a look at this uh, this is just a brief um, layout of each position or of the position and um, it will begin with your job purpose okay so on the top, just under, under your work description, or just under your heading, meaning the company, your position, and your dates of employment, you will then state job purpose. And I'm going to read this out to you, stating job purpose, okay, and it ensures proper flow of office procedures and supports the office directors by carrying out common office duties. Maintains a positive and friendly company image by acting as the first line of contact to visitors, customers, and vendors in person, online, and via telephone. Okay, so that will be your first point, being the job purpose. Okay, under that you can either state key responsibilities, key performance areas. In this case, we've got it as job duties. Okay. So you can then put in a point system, you can have it as a bullet point, or you can put it as a number point, whichever you find is preferable, okay? We'll begin with, the first one states, communicates with relevant agencies to produce travel itineraries for business directors and employee events. Okay, second, arrange, arranges meetings by scheduling appropriate meeting times, booking rooms, and planning refreshments. Okay. Next point, manages correspondence by answering emails and sorting mail. Okay. Next point, assists in planning and arranging events, including organizing catering. Okay. Next point, handles expenses and billing cycles. Next point, manages reception area and looks after visitors. Okay, your next point, answers phone calls and transfers them as necessary. Your next point, drafts, formats, and prints relevant documents. Your next point, maintains stock lists and orders office supplies as needed. Your next point, manages staff expense requests. Okay, your next point, interacts with directors and carries out their requests. Okay, your next point, creates agendas and takes meeting notes. Your next point, assists in purchase orders and invoicing. Okay, your next point, maintains accurate re records for employee holiday requests. Next point, manages outgoing post and records data on special deliveries. Next point, photocopies and files appropriate documents as needed. Next point, attends workshops and conferences when requested. And your final point, 
may take care of website functions and social media profiles. Okay, that is your brief, uh, it's a brief description or your most common description for an office administrator position. Okay, you might not fulfill all these tasks or all these responsibilities or duties in your current position. However, most of them you should be fulfilling in your position if you are um, employed as an office administrator. You could add in a few or you could remove a few depending on how you see fit. However, if you are applying for a position for an office administrator, if you're not yet an office administrator, these are the most of the of the uh, job requirements that you will need to fulfill. Okay. And lastly, for the administrator, office administrator position will be the skills and qualifications required or that you may have or that are usually required for this position. I'll just briefly go through them as well. Prior office administ sorry, prior office management experience preferred, strong attention to detail, ability to work without supervision, excellent time management skills, exceptional communication and customer service skills, technical skills, including proficiency with Microsoft Office programs, strong prioritization and organization skills, ability to handle confidential information, strong record keeping skills, presentation skills, including welcoming guests to events, and the ability to multitask. Okay, guys, we've come to the end of the video. I do hope that the video was helpful. This is your brief description for an office administrator position. If you do not have a current work description, then you can use this as your work description before submitting your CV through for any positions that are available. Or if you are applying for position, then this is some useful information that will help you um, to get to more or less to understand the position that you are applying for. Okay, guys, I do hope, the, I hope that this video is very helpful for you. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel on the link below. It would be in your right-hand corner, the link, the small red tab. Guys, please also um, click on the bell for any notifications or it will advise you of any new videos that are come up, that, are, that we've um, uploaded. Um, and I do hope that um, if you've got any concerns or comments or need any additional information, you're more than welcome to visit our website at www.experienceplacements.co.za and send us an email. It will be great to hear from you.